Dublin was the British military intelligence was certainly paralysed, and um, the British establishment was, was convulsed by this for two reasons. One, it was a, 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 um, a very successful blow at the heart of the British military establishment in in Dublin. Two, the sheer brutality astonished the people because nothing like this had been seen. There was a, a match that afternoon. Uh, Collins was initially in favour of the match going ahead. Then he decided that it should be, if, if at all possible, should be. Uh, cancelled, but it was then too late. The people were pouring towards Croke Park. What the auxiliaries, the RIC, RIC auxiliaries, had in mind that day is hard to say. They sent uh, Crossley tenders up. Uh, some people say it was simply a straightforward arrest operation and that they were checking people for guns. And certainly some people appear to have had guns, handguns, about their pers persons as they approached the, the ground. Shots were fired and who can say who began the shooting. Certainly when the RIC auxiliaries, who were almost all ex-British Army officers, when they, if they did come under fire, they promptly retu returned fire with a recklessness and a brutality which what one can only associate with these kind of late colonial situations. The situation was made more complicated by the use of RIC cadets from Phoenix Park. Now, these are young Irish recruits who were still being... Uh, attracted to, to the RIC, and the fact is that they still were. Most of them were from unionist backgrounds, and they, untrained, they were rushed from Phoenix Park to Croke Park for um, when the disturbances broke out, and they began shooting too. Now, this was not planned or premeditated. This was not like the RIC auxiliaries. And I think most of the killings were done by these untrained cadets. However, the championships continued. 